Yeah, that kind of, yeah, look at that. Make, makes it a ragdoll. So this is little kitten playing around. Hey, my friends, Jean-Serge Gagnon. Today, we're going to be talking about the attraction, the truth about attraction marketing. Attraction marketing truth, part number one. There's actually five steps, right? Five simple social I actually call them media organic steps, organic steps to getting the sale. So step number one is setting up your profile the right way for your ideal client, your ideal prospect. And we're going to talk about that in just a second, but first this. So the real question is this, what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom? that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so you maybe you have not gotten this ebook. If you have not gotten this ebook yet where we talk about the attraction marketing truth, the truth about attraction marketing that other leaders aren't letting you in on, you should go check it out at attractionmarketingtruth.com and get your copy. And today we're gonna to talk about Step number one of five, which is setting up your profile the right way for your ideal prospect. So before we get into that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to this audio, oh, actually, if you're listening to this audio, you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis451.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and I will be, uh, there will be a blog post as I said. So let's get right to it. Let's share my screen and show you what we're talking about over here. So like I said, Attraction Marketing Truth, this is a very short little ebook that talks about uh, different things that you need to know about attraction marketing. There's five steps. <clears throat> the first one is setting up your profile so your ideal prospect knows who you are. This is what we're talking about here. The, the second one is posting every day. The third one is engaged. Anyways, I'm not going to go into this. Go get this ebook right now. But we're going to talk about profile profits. So one of the most important things that you need to do as an online marketer, if you're using attraction marketing, you want to make sure that your profile follows the rules of attraction marketing, right? The basics of it is basically like what we see right here in this ebook, which is again, another ebook you can get for free where we talk about the top five things that you need to do for your profile, right? What do you need to do for your profile? And if you want to get that, you go to ppc.jsgagnon.com. I might have a link right here. Yes, go to ppc.jsgagnon.com to go get this particular ebook as well. So <clears throat> when we talk about that, right, let's talk about what does it mean to have a profile that is attractive to your prospect? The first thing is you always have to remember your prospect is your prospect. Your ideal prospect is not my ideal prospect, or it could be, but it's not necessarily, right? And you got to think about how is it that you are trying to attract your prospect, right? And uh, let's talk about, you know, Facebook a little bit. Let's go to Facebook because obviously you can do this on any social platform, but the secret is when we talk about attracting somebody to us, right? What do we need to, what do we mean by attracting somebody to us, right? I mean, if you have a business, you're basically, you got your front of your store. And I remember I used to actually work at Radio Shack back when I was in my early 20s. I was actually a manager of Radio Shack store. And one of the things I learned there is that if you're setting up your display in the store, right? I was in a mall, so I was setting up the display. You know, every single month there was different sales and things like that. So you'd pile up your particular product in a spot here, another pile there, another pile there. You put the signs and things like that. And then, then you would go back, you would back up. You would go into the mall and walk towards the store like your customer is would do, and you would, kind of get a feel for how that customer is going to see the store when they walk in. And that gives you an idea as to whether you set it up right. And this is exactly the same thing. This is attraction marketing. You've got to look at your profile, scroll through your profile and see whether you think your ideal customer is going to like. Now, in my case, it's a little special because this weekend I actually had um, an anniversary. So there's lots of pictures about me and my wife here doing our, our weekend anniversary. But normally I don't 
that's not all I'm about, right? I do post about the family. I do post con uh, questions to people. I let people know what I'm about a little bit. But before you do that, you got to figure out who your target market is, right? You got to figure out what is it that you're trying to track. Like if I look at other other leaders here, right? Uh, where's I got my phone ringing? Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> sorry about. Okay, so if you talk about other, if, let's look at other leaders, right? Like Diane Hockman, right here. Diane Hockman is an amazing online marketer. She's been online doing attraction marketing for a long time. So she's got her cover page here that lets people know that she's a marketing communication specialist. And when you look at her, at her intro, right? So I mean, you can see that she talks about how she says how you communicate will determine how much money you can make, right? This is basically her tagline. And if you look at her posts, you can see that she's posting questions. She's posting uh, inspiration. She's posting pictures of herself, right? To let people know who she is, what she looks like, and that kind of stuff, and what she likes, uh, things like that, right? So that's basically what you need to be doing too, at least as part of it. Let's look at somebody else, Aaron Birch. Oh no, this is Eric Worre, sorry. Eric Worre is the network marketing pro a creator from you know network marketing pro from years ago uh, this just now was his birthday so it's lots of posts about his birthday but i mean if you scroll through you can see that he posts things about his his work he also gets tagged by his other leaders you see he posts here sometimes like that he'll post things about himself as well just like that's what you leaders do so but the thing is that whatever he posts whatever eric worry posts about has to do with what network marketers are interested in right he posts about that kind of stuff so same thing with uh, Aaron Birch Aaron Birch is an online marketer she's amazing and right now she's promoting a tool so she's got the main page here which is the tool she's promoting and she talks about uh, her intro she's got want to build an online business and life freedom and joy right but if you look through her feed you can see that she's got posts you know that she's posting her pictures of herself she's posting things that she likes to do she's talking about herself she's letting people know about herself now one of the things that i <clears throat> was uh often have conversation with people that are like well why are you posting so much about you know things that are kind of unrelated to your business or un irrelevant or whatever i i go to your page i don't really know what you're about now one of the things i did is i did change my cover here to show this but still I post about all sorts of things, my family, my life, uh, different tools I'm working on, different, you know, posts I'm doing. And people are like, well, what are you about? But the thing is that people will gravitate to you if you're talking about yourself more. To, and I'm not saying you've got to do that all the time. I'm just saying you kind of have to let people know a little bit inside your life. Otherwise, they're going to think you're just a business just trying to get them to buy something, right? So if we go back to, let's go back to Aaron she's again she's posting about herself same thing with uh jen johnson she's an amazing content creator and that's what she's got right there she's got content creator studio on her cover page she says content strategy consultant for coaching of course and she's got a, a a link right there and it's very directly related or connected to exactly what that is all about right what are you about what why would people connect with you right why would they go to your page why would they you know uh, connect with you right that's kind of what you want to do you want to be posting about now uh, tanya liza same thing she's posting about her her life she's posting about her products things like that but it's all kind of around the same thing who is your who is her target market right she's uh she's a lifestyle entrepreneur and she's she she actually builds a network marketing she also sells online strategy um, social media courses so that i know because i've been following for a while and that's the secret right you follow people for a while you get to know mark harvard is a video guy but most of the stuff you see on here is is you know him but he, like you see right here he's got his his uh, course right there He's got a post that says that now he can do Pinterest TV lives, right? He's talking about his his uh, video marketing all star jam that he's doing. So and posting a picture of his, him and his wife. So you know that's the thing. Your target market. So I, anyways, I just wanted to go through a few examples. Here's John Melton. John and Nadia Melton are amazing network marketers 
who teach others how to use social media to do network marketing, right? So you can see that they're posting all the time about being with others, about networking, about growing a business, all that stuff is on that. So, okay, now if we go back to what we were talking about, how to actually set up your profile. Now I can I can kind of go through this ebook I have right here, right? Which you can get, you can get this free ebook. But basically, that's what you got to do. You got to have a cover photo that speaks to your audience. You got to have a profile picture that's of you. You got to have a bio and other things. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to go through this because the point is you should get this yourself anyways because me explaining it versus you actually reading through it because it's actually quite well explained in here in all these different things. It kind of explains exactly what you need to be doing. That would be your first thing that you got to do that's super important for you to get your profile set up. <laughs> so, but even before you set up your profile, you have to know who is your target market. Who is it? You know, are they um, stay-at-home moms? Or are they educated um, married couples? Are they, you know, uh, uh, students? Are they men? Are they women? Are they people with kids, people without kids? Do they live in the United States or do they live, do they live in Europe or in other parts of the world? Or do they have a certain level of education? Do they have a certain income level? What, who is your target market? And what are they interested in? Do they like gardening or do they like uh, uh, dining out? Do they like traveling? Do they like just going out for hikes? What is it that they are interested in? What, do they have animals, do they have dogs, do they have cats? You know, do have they, maybe they have toddlers, maybe they have babies, right? Newborns. Who is your target market? Because that will completely d direct or change or control or, you know, uh, de de define how you speak to them, right? So, I mean, I mean, just think about it. If you're trying to create content for people with, uh, well, single, you know, students, that are just out of college and you start talking about uh you know putting money aside for your your for your kids to go to college well they might not relate to that they might just skip right over it and think wow that's not for me right that's exactly what's going to happen and the same exact thing if you start talking about uh partying every single night and uh buying all these crazy high uh high couture clothes and things like that to people that have 15 year old kids that are trying to save to send them to college right they are going to not relate to that so it's important for you to make sure you know who your target market is and also doing things like talking about generating income versus um, making friendships right if you're if your target market is, you know, somebody wants to build a business online, but they don't necessarily, um, they don't necessarily have a, an interest in the money aspect of it. They really want to make friends. They really want to build relationships. Well, you're not going to talk about making money because those people are going to not be interested in what you have to say if what they're looking for is making friends. Again, vice versa. If you talk about making friends and all the all the your audience is people who want to make money you don't talk about making friends to them because they're gonna gloss over that and they say i don't have time for this i just want to make money right not saying that you you you're actually you know the truth of the matter is you can't really make money on social media if you're not actually building relationships with the whole point of having your profile set up to succeed right uh, but but that's the thing, right? So let's go back to Facebook here. Um, but that's the thing. If you are trying to build a business online, you need to be using social media. You need to be building relationships. You need to be doing those things. So again, depending on the kind of uh, content you create, because it's the same thing. You do it on Instagram. You do it on LinkedIn. You do it on Twitter. You do it on Facebook. Do it on TikTok. Whatever platform you're using, you need to you need to understand who your target market is so that you know how to create content. And it's the same as if I, I was to use, a, say, a, I was to use Clever AI to generate a, a blog post. Let's say I go and I want to generate a blog post, right? So I go into <coughs> the tool here. I'll just go to an ad hoc session. 
I'll create a new one. I'm just going to say, write me a social post of 50 words um, talking about. Whoops. Well, actually, write me. For, well, yeah, let's do that. Uh, talking about building a business on social media with attraction marketing make the po make the post funny funny and inspirational target market is women in their 40s okay let's do that whoops did I type that one okay so if I just do that then I can create my own like say I want to create a post and I just want to use UI <coughs> I can actually take this here and uh, paste it in a, as a Facebook post right uh, and if I don't like this one I can just say regenerate just give me another one because it'll just basically redo the the, the same query give me another example <coughs> so there let's do this one let's say this let's go to Facebook let's see what that would look like and I'm going to paste that here see what that looks like follow me and learn how to build a business on social media that will have you living your dream life let's create put some white um with a whole lot of laughter along the way that's kind of funny isn't it eh? join me ladies in your 40s <laughs> to start your journey towards success so I'm not going to post that myself because that's not my target market but as you can see it generated a pretty interesting post I should probably um, work a little bit more on, on doing that but let's say I want to create one I can actually um, do another session I should probably try to do a post uh, just to kind of give you an idea of you know who is my target market right my target market is is affiliate marketers who are looking to build uh, assuming my target market whoops is online marketers in the uh, affiliate affiliate marketing field right whoops write me an inspirational post to to help them grow their audience and sales so I don't know <clears throat> I don't know I have to work more at this uh, this uh, AI stuff but I'm just I just want to give you an example of writing a post uh, so that it kind of works with what we're talking about and then I also want to get an image too so I'll uh, show you how that works just to give you an idea here so here's a post oh I should have I forgot to say how many words uh, okay let's let's just take the whole thing see what this looks like paste that in here so are you a marketing affiliate industry looking to expand your reach and increase so uh, uh, make you success so actually I've been thinking about posting content on 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 social just using the AI just by having it give me like a quote every day or something like that uh, but I will actually see how much and let's get an image for this <clears throat> develop a strong prison so so this is all you know obviously I could read it all right now but I'm just going to show you how I post so let's say I want uh, to go to images and then I'm going to go and do a new session I'm going to say um, uh, attractive couple having a great time on beach at sunset and let's just make it a bigger image and let's just do one <coughs> and then that that'll give me an image that I can you know post it actually is either an image that's actually generated and I can actually do another one I can just do regenerate and it'll give me a new image based on that description I I said right <clears throat> and maybe I should have a different kind of a of an image but let's say I take this I say save image as and I'm just put, paste it in my downloads here and 
let's go over to my Facebook post I'm going to put this in here oops and then go into my downloads where I just put it and let's just do this there we go so now I have a post and uh, that is somebody's going to say who's this right and I'm actually I'm going to go in here and I say ps ps how do you like this post generated by AI this post and image I I should probably say something like this ps this post this post an image was generated by AI was generated by AI I'll just do that like this right I don't know <laughs> I'm just gonna post it to see I'm curious to see if I'll get people complaining or actually saying this is great but I'm just gonna post it just because I'm kind of doing that right now through and we're gonna think like who is that who <laughs> is that right it's like why are you posting pictures of other people right anyways it's just a, an example I could probably go back into here and just create uh let's say um cute little kitten playing with string and I'm just gonna go like this I'm gonna give it let's say well I don't need it that big let's do that I'll do five so now you're gonna see a, images of a kitten I could have posted that as a but I obviously in the in the case of this particular post I probably should have made it but the point is that you need to know who is your target market is it people that have cats is it are you trying to attract kitten lovers or dog lovers maybe are you trying to attract you know um people who like to garden people who like to you know sunsets and sunrises are always really nice right so that would be something that you could probably attract almost anybody but at the same time you want to have some direct things people you want to be attracting the right people the people that are your audience which like I said you got to figure out who your audience is once you know who your audience is that's when you can actually start to create the things like you know I can I can say right here make it a rag doll see if that will actually uh, it should I don't know it depends sometimes it works in the same session otherwise you have to create another session which will give you uh, images of a rag doll instead so yeah that kind of yeah look at that make makes it a rag doll so this is little kitten playing around little rag doll I think I'm not sure if these are all yeah I think they're all rag dolls but anyways yeah so you can actually create things like that with the with an AI but the point is that when you're creating content you can either do it yourself you know with an account an AI like this or you <coughs> actually uh, can do uh, your obviously do it yourself you go through things but you can help you can have AI help you as well right that's different anyways if you're interested in AI you can go check this out clever AI go to bonus clever AI the copy.com where you can actually get 30 days is it 30 days I forget no 90 days you get 90 days free because this is a, a paid service that lets you do this it also lets you um, also lets you uh, choose and see your history of everything you've done so far so you don't lose it so you can go back to it or you can get some uh, stuff back but yeah that's clever yeah anyways that's a, a side note here okay so going back to what we were talking about when you're building your uh profile you want to make sure that your profile attracts the right people by having their content explain who you are what you're about and how they can find more about what you're offering and you don't want to be posting about what you're offering all the time you want to be posting about yourself about your family about your uh, your likes or dislikes and also you want to make it so that it's relevant to what they would be interested in that's the that's the key making it interesting to what they are interested in right <coughs> okay so like I said let uh let's go back here to to the uh the, the, the webcam so yeah so as I was saying this is part of the attraction marketing truth that you can get at the truth about attraction marketing 
It's part number one of five. I'm going to be doing some other sessions on the other ones, which you will hear about uh, the next in the next episode. But until then, my name is Jean Serge Gagnon, and we'll see you in the next episode. This has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.